Now then, a bit of a different one today. We're going to go camp at Haunted Castle Ruins. And it's also got some uh, beautiful water gardens as well, what we can look at. And it's nestled in this valley up there in woods. So, as you can see, light's fading a bit, so probably, probably won't do much filming getting there now because it's a bit of a, a bit of a stealth mission as well so just gonna crack on and get there oh dear Oh dear again. Right, we're all pitched up outside the castle. But Fendi's not feeling it tonight. Hey mate. Been shitting herself since we got here. And there's, uh, I think they were guard goose. Yes, because as soon as we turn around the corner, these geese just start quacking like mad. And now they've been flying around for the last, I don't know, 20 minutes. Googling and gaggling away. So I'm going to chill out now and I'll uh, turn all my lights off and that because I don't want to get caught here and moved on. Because in the morning we'll go down and have a look at the uh, water gardens and stuff. So we'll say good night. Well, good morning. Let's get up and go do some exploring, shall we? Magnificent. Right. Gonna get this tent packed away and then we'll go have a we'll go have a sneak about, shall we? Right. That's where we was. Just a bit of flattened grass. Leave no trace as usual. Right now let's go and have a look at that beauty up there. Looks magical, doesn't it? Uh, got all this stonework. All this were all inside the building. Above fireplaces and the balustrade and stuff. Let's get a closer look, shall we? Castle Car was built for a Captain Joseph Priestley Edwards. Construction began on the mock Tudor Norman Castle in 1859. Though it took eight years to complete, Joseph Priestley Edwards never got to live in it. He died four years before construction had finished in a, uh, a train accident. Then one of his sons took over and uh, he didn't particularly live in it that much. It was quite an unloved place. It was uh, really cold inside and it were plagued with midges in the summer. But inside this Hollywood Gothic style building, it had a 62 foot long banqueting hall with a sprung floor for dancing. It was full of animal trophies and huge stone Talbot hounds. There was a huge fountain outside that's now in, uh, in Leeds. It's called the Talbot Hounds, I think. Talbot Hounds Fountain. I'm guessing that these used to be the kitchens down here. And there's a little room over here that I think might have been 
storage room. Oh, it looks creepy in there, doesn't it? Looks like there's loads of bats up there, but it ain't. it's just peeling paint, bit looks of it. When it went for auction in 1962, bidding only reached £9,250, so it was withdrawn and demolished. Workmen said they had abandoned the demolition because it was haunted, and that's why a small portion of it stands today. There's also two gatehouses. There's one up top, up there, and then there's one at the bottom entrance over here. They're still standing today, and they're uh, actually inhabited by people. But now we're gonna go down and have a look at these fabulous water gardens. These water gardens were uh, built because of condensation, because of these these big, these two big dams here, there's one there, one there, reservoir, so the owner of the house was uh, compensated for these reservoirs being on the land and with the money that they were compensated with, they built these water feature gardens down here. It's got a fountain in the middle of it that shoots 130 foot in the air and that's open one day a year during summer open to the public uh, by I think it's Sorby Bridge Rotary Club they open it up for the public and they do like a bit of a charity event <coughs> like a charity walk and then everyone can get to see it then right I'm gonna have to try and find my way down there they're down there somewhere down here so We'll get down there. That's Castle Car Reservoir. Then above it, I think that one's Upper Dean Reservoir. There's them stupid guard geese. They're quacking all night, or whatever they do. 
What do they do, geese? Is it quacking? I don't know if it is quacking. Oh look, there's the water gardens down there. You can just see them through the trees down there. So, let's get down there. That's a mini fountain. This is the pump house. I don't know if you can read any of that on there. There's Halifax Corporation Waterworks, Budden Valley. Waterworks Committee, 1869 to 1870. And it just goes on about a load of councillors and stuff. Right, come here you. That's the fountain there that shoots. 130 foot above the water and then beyond that there's some uh, like steps and stuff it reminds me a bit of the uh, the labyrinth movie with David Bowie but let's get up in air If you like this video give us a thumbs up i'll put some more videos up here what you can have a look at and uh yeah thanks for watching <laughs>